What's going on YouTube? Champion Productions coming back at you with another video. And um, yeah, today I've got something pretty special lined up for this video. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to make ballistic <laughs> gelatin. This stuff is pretty cool. So basically ballistic gelatin uh, represents um, swine muscle tissue um, and is used to uh, show the damage of a new gun or bullet wound or um, the damage from a knife or another weapon and it's just a lot of fun to play with in general like this is it's just very cool and a lot of fun and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make it um, obviously we can't make ballistic gelatin in here so we need to uh, um, go to the kitchen so yeah let's go okay guys so I've got everything set up um, what we need is actually quite simple um, all we need is flavored gelatin or unflavored gelatin I keep wanting to say flavored um, but you need unflavored gelatin for this uh, I got an 8 ounce box here um, which I've already opened um, so yeah you're going to need some unflavored gelatin uh, a container um, and you're going to want to go ahead and fill that up with cold water um, something to mix it with you're going to need a pot and then something to measure temperature with and then uh, I have these just so I can um, clog up the sink, but that is for a later step. Okay, so what we're going to want to do to get started off, we're just going to pour this water into the pot. Just like so, and then we can set this off to the side for right now. Then, we, uh, we start pouring in some of these unflavored gelatin packets and what you're really wanting to look for when making this is uh, um, you'll know you've reached the right um, consent uh, the right amount of gelatin um, when it turns white and I'm about to film this so you can see what it looks like right now but whenever it turns into, like the water turns to a white, goopy, sort of uh, slimish material, that's how you know you're doing something right. And then we're just going to stir this around, just like this. And we're going to pretty much keep doing this until we get a nice, white, gooey slime, so to speak. So, uh... Yeah, I think this is a good time to time lapse, and then I'll come back with the next step. Okay, so I know I didn't give a specific number of packets to pour into this, and it really just does depend on your mold. If you use a Tupperware container like I did, you're going to want to pour about 17 to 19 packets in this. But if you lose count, all you really need to look out for is for the water mixture um, to turn into a white glob really that's the best way I can describe it but once it gets into this white glob um, then you can move on to the next step Okay, for this next part, what you're going to want to do is put a rag, or block up the sink, I'm <laughs> using a rag, but um, you're going to want to start to fill the sink up with hot water. Then you're going to want to take your um, gel, you're going to want to take your unflavored gel and put it in the sink whenever it starts to fill up. 
Okay, now that we've transferred our mixture into the sink, we can begin to boil it down or we're just going to start stirring it until we get a nice smooth liquid. We're not wanting any of this blobby mess that we got right now. So we're just going to start stirring it until we get a nice smooth liquid. Okay, now we can transfer our mixture over to the stove, and now we're just going to sit here and let it boil. Um, but you got to watch the temperature. You don't want it like actually boiling. You don't want to. You don't want to let it get over 120 degrees. Um, but once it reaches 100, 120 degrees, then you can take it off the stove and pour it back into your mold. Okay, we can now pour our mixture back into our um, our mold and just pour it slowly, avoid air bubbles. Um, other than that, you should be good to go. And yeah. So after all that, uh, you're going to want to let that sit, um, just sit out for a minute, um, cool off, then you're going to want to put it in the refrigerator, and then uh, just leave it there overnight, and then when you get up, there should be a nice container of ballistic gelatin, just like I have here, and uh, yeah, so we're going to let that sit in the refrigerator overnight, <laughs> this stuff is awesome, I'm sorry, I mean, it's just... Like, and it's almost transparent. Anyway, we're going to let that sit overnight. Okay, so it is the next day. And, um, yeah, we left our ballistic gelatin to, um, we left it in the refrigerator overnight. So I'm going to go get that, and I will bring it in here. And, um, yeah, I'll be right back. So, yeah, I've gotten our ballistic gelatin out of the refrigerator, and here it is. And uh, now it's left to do now is just pop it out the mold. So what we're really just going to do um, is just sort of fiddle with it for a second. Now, you can make a mold release. I don't really know how, but I know you can. I have heard some people say, um, say something about making a mold release. But you don't really need it, but it does make it a little bit easier when popping the gelatin out. You just want to be careful not to really um, damage the mold or the gelatin, or the mold for that fact, if you want to make more than one batch. There we go. And it will begin, you can sort of see, like, it will begin to peel off. And then you can just... Then we can just start try to catch this all on camera, but just give it a few good taps and voila, we have our ballistic gelatin. So yeah, um here it is. Now it didn't mold evenly or perfectly. Um because it was uh, I noticed this when I got out of the refrigerator, it was sort of on a slant, so it is a little bit um, slanted, so to say, but I mean, you won't be able to, you can't really tell that, that's just like a mold thing, because when I was looking at it at the top, I could sort of see that it wasn't all even, but that doesn't really matter. And that is how you make ballistic gelatin from unflavored gelatin. Now, you guys are going to want to stay tuned for the next video, because we're going to be doing something with this gelatin. So yeah, just be sure to be um, tuned in. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you all found this step-by-step -step tutorial useful. If so, be sure to comment in the comment section below. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to click like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me. Champion Productions, signing off.